All right, guys, welcome back to our Terraria Let's Play. Uh, this is episode two. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and just explored some of the surface over to the right, and we happened to just die in the jungle, and we lost all our beautiful gold here. Not a big deal, as we got quite a lot of loot just from looting the surface, which is really nice. Um, so this episode, what I thought we'd do is head down into the underground uh, a bit over on the right-hand side. We found a load of cave entrances, and we're just going to go ahead and see what we can find. Yeah, so... I made myself a lead pickaxe. We did happen to get a quick lead pickaxe, which is really nice. So that should improve our mining speed. I'm going to take the scarab bombs as well, along with the shine potions that we found last episode. That should help us immensely. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to head down here into the underground. In fact, what we could do, but we're not going to do, we did find some moon glow as well uh, in a herb bag. And also we found one in the jungle. Um, in fact, this, this didn't go anywhere, did it? So I don't know what I'm doing in here. But this does give us the opportunity to go back and get us some Spelunker potions. So let's go ahead and get the ingredients for that. So we're going to need some uh, some water bottles here. Moon glow and blink root, I believe, is required. So where's the closest source of water to us? Basically nowhere. Wow, we have a really, really dry start. What I'll do, guys, I'll quickly go ahead and jump into the cave down to our right. I will get us some uh, water bottles. Not forgetting to put one on the table just for our crafting station, and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so we got ourselves some uh, bottled water here, and we're going to put this one bottle down here just so we can craft what we need, which is this Spelunker potion. We can create two of them since we have uh, two blink root, and then we'll put the rest of the stuff back in the chests here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just throw all this back in. So we got our gold ore there. Uh, moon glow, you can go in there. Jungle grass seeds, that's nice. Alright. What we'll do, guys, I'll head over to the uh, the next cave entrance along from the one that we've explored, and I will see you guys over there. Alright, guys, so we've just run over here to these uh, two cave entrances that we found before. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look in here, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere, really. There's some cobwebs in the way. Maybe it does go somewhere. Okay, let's have a quick look down here, then. Uh, oh, never mind. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere at all. Well... You win some and you lose some. Let's see. Uh, we should have brought some. Don't think there's anything down at the bottom of that lake. Nor does it go anywhere. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and check up here. Yep, yeah, nothing up there. Right, we'll head back up and let's go and check out the other entrance. So the main thing we want to be on the lookout for, guys, uh, when we're doing this is just going to be uh, heart crystals, really. Anything else is going to be golden. We've already got our uh, Band of Regen and Hermes boots and some really nice accessories already, to be honest. So I'm not too fussed about finding gold chests. I am just fussed about finding... What is that? Is that like a... It's like a shovel in a... Oh well. Right, let's keep looking. Uh, try not to get hit on the head by any sand while we do this. Uh, gotta be careful. Okay, you got a Night Owl potion. So, fortunately for us, that uh, that altar down there is lighting up the cave for us, so we can see where we've got to go. Let's just put down a quick torch. Looks like we've actually got two directions we can head in here, although that one, even though it has some gold in it, it's probably not worth the time to dig over there, even though there's this small little gap here. There's only a very small amount of gold there, and I'm not going to waste any time digging over there just to get three gold ore. So let's keep heading over, and we'll see what we can find. Straight away, look at that, we found ourselves a nice life crystal here. So let's get that guy on the go. Let's keep uh, mining here. Looks like we got ourselves a few friendly slimes coming over. Uh, not a big deal. We can probably use our throwing knives that we found. So if anything, these guys are just giving us some more gel that we can use, which is really nice. The more torches, the better. In fact, let's just go ahead and make as many as we can now. Uh, we're going to need some more platforms as well, actually, so let's make sure we're stocked up on those. Uh, and then let's go and check out what's under here. So there's a nice patch of gold there that might be worth getting. A load of emeralds here, so let's grab those. Uh, if you didn't know, guys, you can actually make grappling hooks from gems now. You need 15 uh, of any kind of gem. The best one, obviously, being diamond. It will give you the most range and the 
the, the highest velocity on the on the hook. So always uh, be on the lookout for that if you want to get a nice early hook without having to deal with uh, piranhas and trying to actually farm for a hook. Uh, let's go ahead and ward this guy off with our spear. Die, please. Good stuff. And we'll just jump over. Looks like there's a empty mine car or something there. There's some really weird structures. It looks like we're digging straight into a, uh, a mushroom biome, actually, which is really nice. So, obviously, because we're on a large world, we actually get much bigger biomes than usual. So, this mushroom biome might actually be quite big. We've got a chest over here. Now, if you look, guys, this is a seriously, seriously trapped chest. Uh, we've got two dart traps here, and we've got three explosives. Uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to mine out these guys. Let's put our torch back. We've also got to deal with this... Uh, Mother Slime, who has now just fallen over. So let's just be very careful here. Uh, we're not going to open it yet. What we're going to do, we're going to dig under it. And we're going to dig out the, um, the explosives here. We might end up using them at some point. Not sure what for, but we'll definitely try. Uh, so let's grab those. We'll put a torch over here just to make sure there's probably something else gonna happen maybe a boulder will fall down so maybe what we'll do as well is just put some uh some blocks around us okay that's fine nothing happened let's take all the stuff grab the dead man's chest and we'll carry on down here just exploring and seeing what we can find so oh that's a nice patch of gold right there let's go and grab that when we can so yeah, like I was saying, underground mushroom biomes, since we're in a uh, a large world, they're going to be a bit bigger than uh, your standard worlds. Oh, hello. Let's uh, get some gel off these guys. Ow. Same as the bird. Let's get the pig. Like so. Good. And we've got a heart crystal as well. We're just going to take the plunge here before anything can spawn. We've actually got two crates here. So we've got a flare gun in the first one, which isn't great. Uh, let's grab some air real quick and deal with this piranha. We've actually got two piranhas here. Uh, Dripless statues I'm not too interested in. Um, we, I'm pretty sure we don't get anything from them, so it's not a big deal. Let's grab that. And let's grab this other art crystal over here. And then there's actually a really nice spot where we can uh, get some air. So let's go ahead and dig in here before we drown. There we go. We'll block this off, um, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll dig down to that second level that we can see below us. I don't think I can see any other um, chests around right now, so we'll keep going down. Let's use these heart crystals. Now we'll use a shine potion as well, just so we can see what we're doing. That's a lot of piranhas. Oh, man. All right, let's keep going down now. So what we can do, actually... Um, picked up some mushrooms. I'm just going to make a workbench here. Uh... And then we can go ahead. Can we make a hook here? I don't think we can make a hook on the workbench. We need an anvil to make the hook, so we'll leave that for now. Doesn't look like there's anything of note down in this next level. Uh, we'll dig over to the right a bit just so we can see things properly. Uh, but right now, it doesn't look like there's any more chests or anything down there. There's just that great big mother slime that I don't want to deal with at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. So what we'll do, we'll carry on down here. Over to the left a bit. Let's get on this ledge. So there might well be another layer to this. Um, Do we get any rope? I wonder if we did. So let's go ahead and just rope up here. Nice bit of cheesiness. Just lob down some throwing knives at this guy. Probably the, not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm just trying to be safe right now, so... In fact, let's use the grenades. We can use the, uh, the throw knives on this guy. I don't know if he throws anything. I know the normal skeletons do, but I don't think he does. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's uh, carry on over. Got another little area down there. Another heart crystal over there. Let's dig straight for that. What I'll do, guys, um, I'll probably cut some bits here just so that uh, it's not just me digging the whole time. Um, so I'll see you guys when I uh, pick some stuff up or find anything interesting. Uh, so yeah, I'll get to it and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Alright, so there's another heart crystal for us. We're up at 180 HP now. We've already found four of these things, which is really nice. Uh, what I want to do is try and get over there, but this bat is kind of uh, causing me an issue right now. Let's try and just get him a bit stuck. Uh oh. Oh, okay. there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and drop down here. Looks like there's a minecart track down there, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure we can do anything about this skeleton, mind you. Oh, he's just going to run away, me. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and drop down. Anything up here before we go ahead and have a look at that minecart track? So we've got some bombs. Let's take those. We'll keep the mushroom grass seeds. We might need them a bit later. Uh, inventory's getting a bit clogged up, guys. Flipper potion. We'll just take that. Uh, anything in here? So it looks like we've got another chest up here. And I can see a loom as well in there, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, deal with this bat in a safe way. Alright. Let's go ahead and dig up there. So we're going to take the loom, that's going to help us make a bed, um, just so we can set our spawn inside our house, nothing special. Um, what we'll do is we will get rid of the daydream for now, just because I don't think we're going to need it. Another pair of Hermes boots, uh, probably not as good as the ones we currently have. Well, let's quickly uh, barricade this off so that this bat can't get in. Uh, and then everything else is really just um, yeah, gathering stuff, so let's go ahead and grab those. We'll swap out the blocks there, we can set up for some money, so... Um, Let's take that, actually. Okay, that's good. Right, now we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, don't know if he can get back up, actually, so maybe we have less of a problem than we did. Let's go ahead and uh, kill the, the bat. And we'll head back the other way now. So one thing we've got to remember as well is that we actually have three Spelunka potions on us that we can use here. Um, whether or not we use all of them now is... We'll see what we get out of one, maybe, but then past that, it's going to be kind of... We've got to be a bit careful that we don't use all of them, because we're going to want to use them when we go into places like the uh, underground desert and also the underground jungle. I'm going to run out of these in a second, unfortunately. Yeah, there we go, we're out. So let's put our bow on our primary now, uh, since that's something else we can use for projectiles. Not as quick, but does the trick. Yeah, it's important in uh, master mode, guys, just to be really careful. Um, unless your intention is to get yourself killed uh, and you want to get back to base without a fuss, I would suggest being pretty damn careful when you're running out and about. Uh, right, let's see. We'll pick these up. I don't know why I'm running with torches out. It's kind of a bit of a habit, to be honest. Uh, I've got a shine potion on right now, so I don't actually need them. But uh, we'll keep heading along here. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Let's uh, drop down. Might be something down there we, we have to look at, but uh, there's some slimes down there, and I don't really want to get in their way right now. Uh, there's a skeleton coming, so let's go ahead and deal with him. So this guy can actually do a bit of damage uh, if he ends up throwing anything at you. So it's good to keep your distance when you're fighting skeletons. Is there something there? No, it's just a... Okay, let's see. Anything else? If you're wondering why I'm running along here and not using the minecart, it's just because there's often uh, traps along here, like explosives. Such as the one that I got blown up with at the start. And it looks like we're now getting into the underground jungle, actually. So let's just be a bit careful here. Um, what we could, like I said, let's just be a bit careful here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that boomerang statue, actually. In fact, this guy might jump over me. Let's hope this guy jumps over me. He didn't. So let's jump up here. And we will just uh, mosey on over. Over that pressure plate where the boulder is blatantly going to kill us. Get some of this cobweb. And we'll try and take this bat out as well. Okay. 
So we want to be real careful here, guys, just because uh, this jungle over to our right, we don't want to get involved with the underground jungle. In fact, we've kind of cornered ourselves here. Uh, but yeah, we've managed to explore quite a lot from just that single cave, so let's head back. We'll go ahead and recount what we've got. Uh, let's quick stack everything that we can, and then we'll just throw everything else in here. So, we've got ourselves some copper, some silver ore. That's good. We've got some Hermes boots. We can sell those, so let's go ahead and sell those. We've probably then got enough money to buy our first pylon, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, yep, yeah, let's get rid of you. Um, everything else we can kind of keep. We'll keep the inner tube, why not? We never know what we not, might need it for. Um, explosives, they actually sell for a fair amount, and I don't think I'm ever going to use them, so we'll get rid of those. And we'll buy ourselves our first pile on here. So let's go ahead and put that down there. So what we want to do, guys, is the next one we probably want to get maybe is the jungle one. Um, I'm not really sure what NPCs we're going to want to put over there, but I guess we'll figure that out when we come to it. We're going to need the painter over there. Um, and I think the Dryad as well goes over there, along with the Witch Doctor, once we've killed um, the guy, uh, Queen Bee. The girl, even. Uh, right, let's use our Emeralds and we can get ourselves an Emerald Hook. That's good. So, we're looking pretty good, guys. Um, chests are filling up. Things are happening. We've got an inner tube. We've got a load of Spelunker potions. Uh, so yeah, everything's looking up really. Um, so what I'll do guys, I'll end the episode there. This is a bit of a shorter one, uh, just because uh, right now we're in a bit of a situation where there's not much else we could be doing. So yeah, I'll just cut the episode a bit short. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and uh, I will see you in the next one.